Hi. Right, well, we've just got here, and I'm trying to explain it. I think you can freeze it. This is the, um, I hope it shows up, floating currency system. And this is the uh, stabilization of currency system. Um, one of the things I quite like about it is the fact that it shows here how all this wealth used for gambling, which may I just happen to say, it was promised to the troops in 1944 and all the world leaders except for Hitler and Stalin said that we were going to have this system. But this is the Hitler-Stalin system here, which is the one we have today. And these are roughly the figures. I mean, you know, when you're dealing in 655 trillion, counting the last pence is a little bit silly, isn't it? Anyway, tax havens, roughly 45 trillion. Anyway, loads of money is good old comedy in the 1980s, would you be saying? And 1919 to 1933, uh, that was the sort of system. You got Wall Street crash, which Churchill warned about, warned about. You can see here. And also the destruction of the Reichsmark. You're going to have quite fun, you know, looking at that. Um, because in Horrible Histories, you know, they show um, who wants to be a millionaire in the Reichsmark becoming who wants to be a billionaire. And not long after, exactly the same thing happened in Venezuela. Do we really think it's worth it to preserve this system, having two and a half million or something migrants and children starving and babies, all so that we can break a world peace treaty so that some people can have the fun of, say, you know, on um, uh, uh, the results of the referendum, for instance, selling um, or uh, buying, you know, a million pounds worth of dollars, watching the pound drop by 20%. And then rebuying the uh, pounds with their dollars for a million two hundred thousand, so they've got two hundred grand stuck in their pocket to sort of go around feeling very smug about. Um, but unfortunately, this is the system that you're supporting if you're doing that sort of thing. And then, of course, this crypto and apparently, I mean, anything ghastly, and you can get it even crimes against children. One wonders, you know, when you think about all the dreadful things, and you know that can happen, you know. So anyway, I've, I've put here some of the, of course, with the debt, in this system, debt goes down, and in that, it goes up. Anyway, I've, I've put up some things there. I think it's quite a fun little diagram, because it sort of tries to simplify something, which is actually really simple, but of course, it's in these people's interest to make it seem as complicated as possible, because then simpletons like us or me cannot understand, but actually, it's very simple to understand. You know, gambling is bad. All the world religions say so. Uh, <laughs> especially if you're a bit high on coke. There does seem to be rather a lot of cocaine floating around at the moment. And I will mention that Adolf Hitler was on cocaine in 1938, apparently. So that's not good. And it is rather sad when you get radio presenters like Nick Ferrari, Nigel Farage, discussing whether they would nuke Spain and then getting people ringing up a bit upset about it. I'd be upset about it as well. I think it's really disgraceful. And I think that Boris Johnson had to retire because of the fact that he was going on about sending in the Navy or something. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but definitely the Daily Mail saying send in the Navy uh, to our neighbours, France. So I would say that we're much better to have this system because Churchill said that it is the best one. So we can arm ourselves with law. And the law is any large movements of currency detrimental to the world economy should be outlawed. And that sounds just like Churchill to me. I can imagine him saying that just as he's getting the sort of news about uh, all the dead from D-Day and uh, Maynard Keynes is heading off and he says, any large movements of currency detrimental to the world economy should be outlawed. Yes. And how many dead were there on the D-Day beaches? I warned them in 1925, and we take these measures against speculators of any country, of any kind and of any hue, that countries are like ships in a dock tied together by trade, and if one falls, it can pull down the rest with it. And of course, you got the right smart problem and also the Wall Street crash that led to the Great Depression. But now uh, the, the people Black Wednesday, where at the time they said that 200 national health hospitals were lost in a day. 